Yeah, the lithium is, uh, uh, you know, it's been my kind of life's work, helping people understand this natural element called lithium. So we have books, we have courses, we have articles, but I'll summarize it. And it's an important chapter in the ADHD book. The, the summary is that lithium is a, a natural element in the earth. It was one of the first three elements formed in the Big Bang when the universe started 13 billion years ago was hydrogen, helium, and lithium. And then in the Earth's crust, so when the Earth was formed about 4 billion years ago, lithium was in the Earth's crust. So it is essential for brain function. So we think of this medication that people take for bipolar at very, very high dosages, but at micro dosages, we cannot live without it. We mostly get it from from water because it's in the it's in the rocks and it leaches into the water supply. So for drinking tap water, we get some lithium and it gets into some of our soils. So some of our vegetables have lithium. It, it is important one, and this is, you know, not ADHD, but the research has shown from probably 30 years now, the amount of lithium in the water around the globe where you live is predictive of mental health problems, particularly suicide. So it's quite dramatic and it's really important that uh, people understand that. So we have studies looking at the amount of lithium in your tap water. We have studies all over the world from you know, uh, Germany to England, to Japan, to all, all over the States, to Greece, I think 13 or 14 countries and everywhere that we've looked, the lower lithium in the drinking water, and it could vary like different parts of the states, different parts of a country, the lower levels of lithium in the water, higher rates of suicide and mental illness. And again, not one study, hundreds of study all confirming the same thing. So we know lithium is important for brain function. And what we found and what I've been writing about for many years is this a symptom that we see in some of the uh, irritable kind of hyperactive ADHD kids, more males, so uh, adult males and, and children, uh, that this aggression or irritability, when that's a component, that's a subset of ADHD individuals that respond very well to this nutritional lithium. Where do you get nutritional lithium from apart from your your tap water which my understanding is you know is chlorinated um and and added there's other additives to it as well um can you speak a little bit more around that one well i guess like everything else uh, amazon you can get it on amazon i mean it's a, it's a nutritional supplement that um many companies sell and um you know i recommend the lower dosages the one to two milligrams there are some companies that sell five and 10, but I, I recommend people start at the lower dose. Um, around two milligram is what the average person might get just from their eating and their drinking tap water. So uh, it's a nutritional supplement that's simple and safe at those low dosages. In bottled, bottled water, does that confirm that can confer the same uh, you know, lithium amounts? No, most, I mean, there's a couple companies that are you know, bottling lithiated water. Um, but no, most, um, you know, filtered water um, would take out the lithium. And and I believe that might be an issue with um, what we're seeing, because I've been looking at testing lithium levels in people's hair and hair samples, doing that for many years. And the amount of undetectable low lithium has just been increasing, I think, since we started drinking um, with bottled water. Mm -hmm.